to the Derbyshire Dales in another episode. Today I'm on my own. Uh, I've gone back to the fields where I found all those coins of the week because uh, everybody was so, so, uh, well I don't know, enjoyed the video sort of thing. So yeah, I thought I'd come back here. It's a bit wet today. Uh, gloomy. Yeah, but I know, I know I'm going to find something here. Just been to see the landowners. Uh, a bit funny with me still, but I don't know, they're just funny people. Yeah, anyway, I've got all my kit, got my backpack, got my lunch, got my machine, got my spade. I'll see you on the first. Perfect conditions for me. It's gloomy, damp, cool. It's been raining for about 24 hours. And look at that, the ground is still bone dry. An inch or two down, this is my first signal. And we've got one of those little scabby decimal pennies. Next signal. This was a faint night too. Took some work to get to get to because of the roots. I reckon I've got myself a George the Third mystery coin. Don't think I've ever had George the Third silver off here, so maybe there is some somewhere. Who knows? Next signal, this looked like a little silver coin when I opened it up, but it's it's giving me a 53, so I know that that's gonna be a little tom back button. Definitely not a silver coin. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Blighters, aren't they then? Next signal, this was a 91, pretty much on the surface. It was like literally in the grass. It's a little buckle. This is my next signal. Open it up and it, it must have come out the hole. It's landed there. Solid 84, 85. I don't know what it's going to be, is that it? Yeah, junk. Well, I've almost made it to the top of the first field. <coughs> And this is my first big penny. Solid 94. Opened it up. And there it was. I'm not sure. It looks looking like Victoria. Yep, big old penny. Just put me uh, my lunch in the usual bush. Check this out, there's about 5 million blackberries. Mm. Not bad. I'll have some of them for me pudding. See, this wasn't a live Luke Evans today. Mm, it tastes good. I reckon that looks like a newt. Is it a newt? Some sort of creep. Oh, I don't know what it was. Well, this is my next silver. Uh, next silver. Next signal. And look at that. I've got quite a big, meaty milled edge in there so I reckon that's going to be a florin solid 92 that was let's get her out could be a two shilling it's a two shilling don't mind that at all oh god it's rock solid night and lemon juice that'll come up mint this is a patch of land I've never been on before and uh, I've just had that silver two shilling and right next to it looks like I've got a big penny so this could be uh, George VI, this could be covered in coins
don't think them apples are quite ripe yet that were a bit tangy anyway next signal under the apple tree it's coming in at night um 84 sorry so i'm gonna say either an edward the seventh or victoria penny usually they come in at a low number if they're quite smooth and worn like that i don't know what that is i'm gonna say victoria cool <sighs> tell you what i think i've picked the wrong location today i'm really really wooden played football last night this morning i could barely walk when i woke up marauding around on this hillside is not what i needed right now so i'm having a nice gentle sit down for five it's not even hot, but I'm absolutely dripping. <laughs> well, I've decided I'm going to have a 10 o'clock beer time. Well, it's actually about half 10, but uh, yeah, I just need, a, I need an extended break. Whoop! <laughs> Cheers! Also, that's for you, David Connell. Cheers, mate. Just going to have to put this out there. My uh, Team XP gold club cap is uh, looking a bit worse for wear it's, the colours are fading it's had so much sweat in it so much sunlight um, I'm getting ready for a new one so uh, if XP want to send me a new one that'd be fantastic it's absolutely saturated <laughs> this is how awesome this place is I just thought to myself for, uh, I've never been on this little this little patch you know it's, it's about you know, someone's front lawn size, tiny. I had a solid 92, opened her up, and look at this. We've got a little coin spill in there. And one of them looks lovely. Lovely and silver. Right, I'm just gonna get a picture. Get them out. I reckon I've got a Victoria sixpence and possibly a shilling, perhaps George V, but I'm not sure. Let's have a go. That's a George V shilling, 1921. And that there, oh, it's Edward. <laughs> Edward the Seventh. How many times I come up here and I go on about Edward the Seventh silver coins? I never find any. It's only my fourth ever Edward the Seventh silver. So that's cool. I like that. So I'm having another break. And I'm having an early lunch. This is what we've got today. No pom bears. We've got Dexter the dog instead. Got some penguin biscuits. Mini roll. And we've got my egg sarnies. Really do enjoy an egg sandwich. Right, I'll see you in five. This is my first coin in a while. Back on the Victorian path. Solid 88. And it's my boy, George V, half penny. Yep. Next up, we've got a military button. Uh, it's looking like a naval one. It's a bit beat up. But, uh, yeah, military button. This is my next coin. I don't know if it's 1p or if it's a silver or what. It doesn't seem to be. Uh, oh, it's a modern 1p. May as well chuck it in that. You can have that. Well, it was only a matter of time before I found one of these. Solid 91 on the surface and there we have my favourite coin crusty three pence Elizabeth II on that one 1950 something yep I'm now on the steepest part of this it's mega steep this was coming in a solid 93, 94 and we've got oh it's 2p that's my favourite woodland on top of that hill up there, where I get all my silvers from. This is coming in at a solid 90, homing it up, and it came out 
And we've got George the Six, Big Old Penny. <coughs> Whoa. Excuse me. Next signal. I don't know what the number was on this. I've got a horrible feeling it's getting me 1p again. Oh my god. Had the 1p from there. Had another signal right next to it. I can see Elizabeth. And we've got two shilling of the non silver kind this time. Yeah, I've got a very sig uh, very similar signal about there somewhere. So I'm going to dig that and see if it's the same. Well, this was the next signal, sort of 70s and 80s again, and it is exactly the same. Another two shilling, 1967 this time. Not a great deal to show today. Uh, the landowner had the rest. Uh, they would say I can keep what I want. So I decided to keep these three, obviously. We got three different monarchs, three different denominations. Start this uh, side. We've got George the Six. Lovely big two shilling. Come up lovely in the lemon juice. George V this time. One shilling, 1921. Again, it's come up lovely in the lemon juice. And this one's an Edward the Seventh. Do not find many of those. Little silver sixpence, 1902. Lovely coin, three lovely coins. Yeah, so uh, I'll see you on the next one, guys.